This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room as a team of flight controllers uh, overseen by uh, Flight Director Royce Renfrew uh, serve uh, on the team uh, and overseeing the team all week long uh, through all of the activities aboard the International Space Station. The uh, crew on board is uh, uh, in its uh, 46th day in space, 19 of those now as the Expedition 34 crew. It's been a busy week for this crew uh, aboard the complex. Monday, Commander Kevin Ford worked the in-space experiment within the microgravity science glove box, performed periodically the experiment studies particles in fluid, which could have benefits in the design of stronger building materials that could withstand earthquake forces. Flight engineer Oleg Novitsky configured communications equipment inside the uh, Poisk mini-research module. He also worked on an ongoing Russian science experiment. The kulinovsky crystal experiment will help model the physical dynamics of space dust particles exposed to sunlight as well as control the particles in a magnetic field. Tuesday, Ford worked in, in the European Space Agency's Columbus Modules Fluid Science Laboratory on the GeoFlow experiment that studies heat and fluid flow currents within the Earth's mantle. He also checked water quality for an experiment that observes bone and mineral density in fish living in microgravity. Novitsky and flight engineer Yevgeny Terelkin worked in the station's Russian segment, checking fans and filters, and continued work with the kulinovsky crystal experiment. Thanks Wednesday, so the crew joined the newly announced uh, and first long-term expedition so crew of Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko so to congratulate them on their planned 2015 year-long mission. The decision was made jointly by the ISS partnership and detailed by program managers of NASA and the Russian Federal Space Agency. Ford conducted research throughout the day on the NanoRacks experiment hardware, such as the plate reader and microscope too. The research gear allows crew members and station systems to interface with a variety of researchers on the ground. NanoRacks is the first commercial laboratory in space. The plate reader will provide uh, biopharmaceutical research opportunities in space, and the microscope captures images from slide samples for downlink to researchers on the ground. Thursday, Ford spent most of the day uh, in the Quest airlock cleaning cooling loops and recharging water systems associated with the spacesuits used for spacewalks. This periodic maintenance ensures they are healthy and ready to support an extravehicular activity. This periodic maintenance ensures they are healthy and ready to support a spacewalk should one be required. He also talked about his mission with uh, CBS News and the Cable News Network. Friday, Ford, as he started the week, worked extensively with the in-space experiment within the microgravity science glove box to utilize the unique environment of microgravity to study the dynamic of particles in fluid. He also brushed up on crew medical officer procedures. This weekend, the crew will spend a relatively quiet uh, time talking with families, checking on some autonomous experiments, exercising, and conducting routine housekeeping chores on board. Meanwhile, back here on Earth, the next three crew members continue their preparations for their months-long stay on the station. Cosmonaut Roman Romanenko, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield, and U.S. astronaut Dr. Tom Marshburn will launch Wednesday, December 19th, and are now at the launch site for their Soyuz rocket uh, in Baikonur, Kazakhstan. This is Mission Control Houston.